Greetings everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new video in which we are playing in Tiano using the submod with the demo really of Words as Sword, the English version for this. So it's apparently a story that takes place in Guangdong in the 60s and we're playing as a school called Chaoyang Experimental School slash CYSY going and it's going through its biggest challenge since its foundation. So basically we're led by a guy named Zhang Fu Chang. If you'd like to read about him please go ahead. Uh, time will tell which is what it says at the bottom. Um, Chao Yang Experimental School near Guangdong, down here, for the capital of Chaoyan. Now, this is a demo, uh, but we don't have any focuses right now, but we do have the Teacher KPI Performance Appraisal. We have Acquiesce in Teo Chuiz. Okay. We have uh, East Multi Building of Senior 1. Okay, 32% done. Current speed is 9%. Eight months uh, to be finished. View details on the map GUI. We'll look at Park Coast Prosperity Sphere, we're in an autonomous campus, and the normal, uh, at this time, economic GUI is, or, is replaced with a different one. We have a missile crisis, oh, and then we have suspended without suspension. Okay then. Now we're mostly despotists, but we have the moral education office. We've got a lot of part of paternalism and despotism, but, but here's a management, the finance management. We have monthly income, monthly expenses, where profit is negative. Not good, we're losing money. So, parent company, what do we request money? So, I, I I don't know. I just wanted to see what the model would be like. Lodging, others, sponsorships, tuition, salary, facil facility, dormitory, others. Urgent message. Ooh. Um, the sound of the beeping telegram cuts through the silence of the radio room. A rare scene since the civilian radio was regulated during the crisis. Then several figures herlicks entered the tiny room, gazing at Zhang Fucheng was walking towards the telegrapher with a million possible scenarios predicted in his mind. At this moment, several people here are nervously translating the student numbers into pseudonyms on the ta code table. Soon, or maybe a long time after, the telegram translated, which read, The missile crisis has been peacefully resolved and the state of emergency in Shantou will be lifted. Heard footsteps echo within the hallway. The administrative high floor, which had been quiet for a few days, came alive as the news that Zhang Fucheng would be holding an emergency meeting spread to every uh, emergency mobilization office. Soon, all the senior staff was assembled in the headmaster's office, all holding their breath to restrain their voices, gazing like a sword, focusing on the trembling hands of Zhang Fucheng. The overjoyed Zhang Fucheng accidentally tried, or accidentally failed to control his volume, but it did not matter. Within a few seconds, the entire headmaster's office boiled at the same time. With that, the stone hanging in everyone's heart, the sword of Damocles finally landed. Go and get the radio script ready right now. A relief. Also, the education is nothing here, so... Just like an hour ago. Uh, the notification tone of the radio also tore through the heavy atmosphere in the classroom. No one knows that the rustling of writing and, ri and writing stopped voluntarily or was overshadowed, leaving only the echo of thump, thump, thump. Now, use the last few minutes of the evening self-study to broadcast an emergency announcement. The broadcast stopped, or paused, and the classroom with all the windows sealed was surprisingly quiet, and two bold students could vaguely hear whispering. So the end really comes? Uh, Kuso Tara. God knows. Anyway, there's no hope now, so destroy it then. Without waiting for them to gas, the broadcast continued. Due to the peaceful resolution of the missile crisis, our school is suspended, but not suspending. School's uh, closed learning emergency is now officially over. Please, similarly, before the broadcast finished reading, the sound of the radio is overwhelmed by thunderous applause and excited cheers. Then the bell for the end of class made all the teaching buildings boil to the extreme. The students who were ready to quickly enter the semi-underground temporary resting place seemed to have forgotten the time, and the strings that had been sent for more than ten days finally relaxed. The two students who were guessing just now had to walk to the playground together. They raised their heads and looked up at the sky they hadn't seen for a long time. The brilliant sky of Jinghan was as usual, as if nothing had happened. The single biggest difference is that the haze that hangs over people's minds in the tidal sky and the sky of the East Asia no longer exists. They know that tomorrow the sun will rise as usual and the day will go on as usual. Hey, how's your homework going? Remove the missile crisis. We can do nothing before the crisis ends. Remove suspend without suspension. And complete the focus through this crisis. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the world's not yet as crazy as we thought it would be. It seems that negotiations between the U.S. and Japan have been proceeding in an orderly manner. Control has been slowly relaxed, and the programs shown on TV are gradually returning to normal. Thank goodness the world has finally been saved once again, and we are finally safe. Okay, cool. New Year's Eve Gala. The world's finally been brought back from the edge of destruction, and the heat of the crisis is slowly waning. The CPS, and the East Asia in particular, is reveling in the joy of preparing for the new year, and CYSY is no exception. The New Year's Day Gala is about to take place, and under the flowers and salutes, we'll take stock of our old year while looking forward to the future picture of the new. But contrary to the smiles on the face, the two leaders who spoke before the gala were preoccupied. Perhaps 1962 was not destined to be an ordinary year. An episode of the gala. <coughs> when the school radio announced that the new, gala's, new Year's Gala would be back a few days after the crisis ended, a wave of earth-shattering cheers and applause erupted from several school buildings in unison. This wave of joy is now poured in the school gymnasium, and an uncommonly hot and wet winter atmosphere has filled the small space. The excitement of the crowd was nearing its height. 
Shenyu Yako Tatazu. Look at you picking this crappy seat. What stupid dick can you see from such a back position? I'm telling you, Tian, be happy with yourself. You've got to find a higher seat to take care of your little body. Why don't you take care of my myopa, myopia? With that, Tian gave Shang a push and almost didn't let him fall through this high position. In front of them, or below, a mixture of giggling, shouting, and Teo Chowis and Japanese burned everything in the gymnasium as hot as if they were in a sauna. Kosotara, why is it hot here like this in the winter? Tian spat at the crowd as he took off the little wolf vest. Shane did see the spittle flying out, but just put one hand on the desk mate's shoulder and said mysteriously, You know what hot mess means, or hot means, when the ther thermonuclear war comes. He didn't wait for Tian to say anything, but he this then said, When the nuclear winter comes, it'll probably be cooler. The words made the two both freeze on, and no one said anything as if nothing could be heard. Yes, who can forget the fear and agitation of a few days ago? When swords were drawn over the sea in Hawaii and the air raid alarms in Shantou sounded several times, how could the two friends who had taken the trouble to assist the school in digging fortifications several times have ever hoped for the post-crisis revelry of today? Tian resentfully slipped his uh, vest back on, a drop of sweat falling in the long fog lenses of his glasses. Darn those Yankees. So did the Japs. The two swallowed and silently looked up and trying to turn their attention to the sage. The curtain had been pulled back and the presenters were nodding to the audience with smiles and faces as they slowly paced the center of the stage. A toast one gestured down the stage and the crowd immediately fell silent. After the presenters bowed neatly, there was another thunderous applause. Look, that girl looks so. This year's harvest. Plan for winter vacation. Well, this year's, this year's harvest. That seems more uh, important first. School year's over. This is a school year of both spirit and hope. We are facing the resurrection of a tiny society. In a word, it's time to see our achievements. The mangoes of the mango trees planted in CYSY were harvested, which carry the hope of many people. Among them, the Zhang family and his son were given the most hope because the mangoes uh, we planted in the or orchard. And of course, you know what I imply? Plan for the winter vacation, too. And CYSY, teachers and students are looking forward to the holidays most. Our management can't take any time off, and we have to work around the clock to plan for the development of CYSY and the development of education. The coming winter holidays are definitely top priority, but this year the grass has already delayed the teaching schedule, and the final exams are still up in the air. So the conflict between holidays and schedules is imminent. In any case, you can't have it both ways, so we'll have to think about it carefully about the consequences. An episode of the Gollum. Tian tugged on Shang's cuff and winked at the stage. Ah, oh, look, that sister looks. Shh, listen carefully. The presenter bowed to the stage once again and said in a loud uh, voice with an enthusing hug. Respectful instructors, teachers, and loving schoolmates, a con bon noa. Some of the no nosy guy on the stage echoed the words, yes, good, good. The presenter's awkward laugh elicited a burst of laughter, which was then overshadowed by a round of applause. I'd like to introduce all the instructors to the participants in the event. The presenter, whom Tian was staring at with unblinking eyes, pointed a sideways finger at the front row. Chao Yang Experimental School, Headmaster Zhang Fu Cheng. A thin figure in a suit stood up and turned in the middle of the first row, giving a bow to the crowd amidst the whistles and applause. The founder of the school, the group representative representative, Zhang Liping San. Cheng easily discerned the fat man, and the large belly figure also applauded the crowd amidst applause. Although the applause was loud and long, Cheng still distinctly heard a few boos. The distinguished alumnus, the president of the group, Zhang Yifeng Sun. Tian straightened up and looked around, only to see a tall, thin figure touching the brim of his hat and nodding back, boos out, but was quickly drowned out by the applause. Chao Yang Experimental School Headmaster Zhang Shipping San bulged another pile of flesh, only smaller, and in the face of the vocal was presented to replace it. He raised his hand and clapped it hard in the air, which managed to get his token round of applause in return. Instructor is seated, please. The smiles on the face of several of the presenters did not change in the slightest, but the crowd gradually reboiled. The Ch Chao Yang Experimental School's 1962 New Year's Eve party has officially begun. Xian! Uh, eventually this one, careful and carefully orchestrated, Teo Chui's pronunciation ignites everyone's enthusiasm and the lights dim in the crowd's cheer. Tiana Shane had long since left the shock, they just felt behind them. And with a surge of enthusiasm, the two friends also got on the revelry. Disaster fates, fortune comes. <coughs> and there goes the missile crisis for now. Meeting in the afternoon, beep beep. It was some time since Zhang Fu Shang had encountered such a sound as the school rose closed to horn honking. However, did not hear the loud scolding of the school guards at the entrance. Seeing as his hard earned afternoon break was about to be ruined, he was now distracted by the blast of the horn. As he put his suit on and walked to the front of the school to find out what was going on, he realized that something was wrong. A red Datsun sport was parked right in the middle of the school gates. So, oh, Headmaster Zhang had enough rest. The man who spoke was Zhang Fu Shang's former student and now partner, more like top boss, Zhang Yifeng, director of the Jiang Ping Group. Zhang Fu Cheng knew this man's virtue, so he too swallowed his saliva and said with a smile, oh, look at me. I don't know director Zhang was here. He extended his hand to Zhang and seeing no movement from the other side, turned to point to the administration building. It's cold outside, please come inside first. My father's busy with other things this year, so I'm here, Zhang Yifeng's high cross legs almost stepped into the tea table. The end of the year is the same as, the, as usual this year, right, Headmaster? Too many things to do this year? Busy. Headmaster Zhang was really subjected to the pressure given by the young man, but he had also known for a long time that this young director was not as humane as his father, and had no idea what was coming to pick on. It so happened that this year was there too many unexpected situations. Now, the headmaster had accompanied all the smiles and analyzed the current situation to his young boss one by one, just like when he was talking about a problem in math class just a few years ago. At that time, for the, the headmaster, Zhang Yifeng was a very ordinary one among millions of students. 
Zhang Yifang's performance illustrated what it meant to never forget one's original heart. He fiddled with those delicate tail chew Kung Fu tea sets on the table tea, tea table over and over again. He was still him, the one who never listened to serious lessons. So there might be a little problem here, hearing this. Zhang Yifang suddenly shoved the tea clip hard into the tea cylinder, rubbing his hands together and raised his head to stare at Zhang Fucheng. This year, there's also the small problem with the group. It seems that we have to take care of our own problems. Zhang Fucheng did not know what to do for a moment. Zhang Yifang said, then said, However, your results will be still have to take care of. He said he got up, grabbed his hat, and left. Zhang Fucheng walked to the window from the headmaster's office. He could see most of the school. The afternoon classes were over, and a number of students were already moving around the playground, cutting an, an orange figure in the sunset. Harvest, he remembered, this year's harvest should be okay. Saying goodbye temporarily. With the arrival of this winter's vacation, the teachers and classmates of the school are happy to go back to their respective homes at this time. The only ones staying in the CYSY are the leaders who have dedicated themselves to it for them. The work never ends, and the winter's vacation is just another period to discuss the future of the school. As long as the management of CYSU cooperates happily, it would be a bright future to welcome students and teachers in the next open, opening season of the next semester. Can't glance in the morning. Zhang Fucheng finally couldn't bear the fatigue brought on by the paperwork. Over the past year, whether it be reforms, gala, or the crisis, everything exhausted him physically and mentally. He decided to leave everything behind for the time being, got to the top of his administrative building, and had a bird's eye view of the uh, Kaoshi as a great masterpiece. <coughs> the weather's just right. Although the weather is still cold in January, the balmy sunshine dissipates the batting wind. Such pleasant weather is suitable for running but playing ball if you have if I have time. Zhang Fucheng couldn't help talking talk to himself. But at a glance, the background was very, very quiet and empty. He suddenly realized it was morning reading time. It was almost the new year, and the weather's still so good, but the students are still ishokemi. And the only piles of construction waste can be seen on the playground. The sudden crisis brought a lot, and at the time, he mobilized the faculty, staff, and students to strengthen the original building and sweat in preparation for the rainy day. Those simple fortifications no longer needed, so they become left over garbage and take a long time to restore the beautiful campus to its original state. In an instant, he resonated with the students. One month, one year of reform work. Tossed not only himself, but also the students. Perhaps he could make him. So I'll take a short break, but would the students have such leisure? However, even when everyone was born into the crisis, in the eyes of the students, whether or not to take the final exam is still an unresolved issue. If I plan to arrange the final exam, students probably won't be able to go home for the new year this year. Thinking of the after dinner tea conversation with several other school seniors a few days ago, he hesitated for a moment. Looking at the students who had just finished class. We were walking to the water dispenser in the corridor to fetch water, and the teaching building became a li little lively again. Forget it. This year's winification will be arranged according to the normal schedule of a previous year's. For the final exam or something elder, uh, let's go with the uh, crisis. He said for a while, and soon the class bell rang, and the corridors of the various floors that were crowded with each other just now were as empty in the blink of an eye. Looking at the pile of construction waste in the playground, some of them can reflect colorful and so sunlight. Zhang Fucheng yawned. The students were working hard, and he can't rest for too long. He turned and walked down the stairs. Time to go back to work. Winter vacation arrangements are on the agenda. <coughs> Publish the list. Although we were roughly determined the placement list as early as the middle of the semester, it was only used as a reference for the really heavyweight final exams. And now, we are running out of time, and it takes, so it takes a lot of effort to determine the final manuscript, so we must concentrate on getting it out. By now, there's no doubt that it will, is, once it's released, it will cause an uproar, but in any case, we can only wait and see now. So we have the stability of the school. In all situations, from the largest country to the smallest family, stability almost, almost comes before all of the matters. Since the founding of the school, there have been many storms, heavily or lightly, all of which have been threats to the school, fortunately. Without exception, they have all survived, and the importance attached to the school's stability has been a major factor in this. It's easy to conclude from our experience over the past few years that although the school is small, it is as important to the, to the school as it is to the country. Once we lose control of the fate and future of the CYSY, which were created by countless teachers and students with bitter sweet, uh, bitter sweat and tears, will be facing serious threat. Even so, CYSY is still insignificant, just a small collective of teachers and students that doesn't look much harder to deal with. School stability is see red, yellow, and green, uh, corresponding to stability. All right now where it's turbulent, there are three states in total, with each state giving or negative or positive effects, as well as unlocking the more co corresponding action resolution for the state. So my question is, where is the GUI? So we can go here, education, finance. Oh! What do we request more? We get more profits, that's nice. Because I know in the... Steam page, there is a GUI somewhere here, but I have no idea. I don't, I don't see it. It's on the education thing, and there's no, I can't scroll up or down. So there's nothing over here either. Um, I have no idea how to get to the GUI. I apologize. Oh wait, no, never mind. It's over here. Whoopsie. Okay, so it's over here. That's kind of cool. Oh, dormitory building of senior two. Oh, the. Student Council. Work of progress, exploring will cause crash. Enjoy. Oh, the gymnasium. West multi use building senior one. Building in progress. Okay, there you go.
a lot of buildings. I would expect it. It is a school, so. <coughs> Finishing works. Oh, did I do published lists? Uh, yeah. Darn, that's impossible. The winter vacation did suspend this year. I thought there would be some extra lessons lasting for weeks. Are you an A-H-O? And when I first told you that, you even called me a liar. Anyways, let's finish his cleaning. Y Li Yang was cleaning the years old window with the dirty cloth, speaking mockingly. Well, some effing better day is coming soon. Just wait and enjoy. Vacation is coming. Why are you still alone face? Wang asked while cleaning up those dense cobwebs on the ceiling. Masaka, did you break up? Shut up, Baka. Just think of what you don't mind. So, such, so much gosh darn crap to learn. Those who didn't finish this term will surely come back next term. Return home with an empty brain, would you still sleep well? So Dane, Wayne threw the uh, room in the ground, sighing, even if we learn at home, we still can get motivated and impossible to catch up with those A-rankers. Just as the saying goes, we don't be afraid of those brainiacs, and we're afraid of them getting vacations. Who so that effing missile crisis, all of our hard work could be ruined. Just as he finishes his words, somebody's coming, they turned back in unison, and that was their math teacher, and they shut up and kept cleaning. The teacher heard about the words, sighing, and says, we're not comfortable either. When you get your vacation, our plan gets changed. So much curriculum halted, we don't know what to do. The math teacher looked around and left, uh, leaving the two students gazing at each other and thinking. The math teacher returned to his office, a place filled with piles of planning papers, and busy working colleagues. He sat down inside, joining their work. Preparation group is meddling here and there, and that missile crisis, we cannot make it. Darn it. And when you check our, about the standard, who can complete it in such a situation? Yeah, wasting time until we cannot teach. What are those management guys thinking? Her voice stopped, and just another footstep came. Mr. Zhang Kuchang and Mr. Zhang Leping is checking, and the office became deadly silent again, only the wind blowing just like usual. Vacation's about to start, maybe. Teacher's annual meeting. We're talking about the CYSY's achievements. Apart from the admir admirable leaders, such as the chairman and the chief headmaster, the most inescapable thing is the teachers. It's a hard work and dedication that makes it all possible. We have our annual faculty meeting, as always. Among the flowers and celebrations, the teachers will continue to lead the CYSY to a bright future. <coughs> Learning. Headmaster, it's almost finished here. The headmaster of the high school put his legs on the table as soon as he put down the phone from the AEO directly in the headmaster's office. Although Zhang Shiping only worked here temporarily for a few days, he handed in the papers ahead of the time and felt that he could already hand in a very good paper. The piles of materials that have been piled up on the desk of the AEO for several days have been cleared away. After several days of hard work, there's now a final revised form and neatly placed on the desk. It'll be presented in front of Zhang Fucheng. Okay, very good. You guys did it very fast. Zhang Fucheng was amazed at the uh, shift list. I just set it for a few days and you finished it. You can only look down at Zhang Shiping. The latter still sitting comfortably on the office chair. Zhang Fucheng didn't care, but focused his eyes back on the list and continued. But since there's no final exam, what is the standard for the class diverting? Zhang Xiping was sitting up with his bloated face stretching. Isn't that the, exa the exam what CYSYs lacks the most? Seeing that Zhang Fucheng was still flipping through the stack of papers, he leapt back in his chair and said mysteriously, I've taken quite a few exams this year, and we can count them all together. We can also consider other factors it's inside. Then he waved his hand and ready to uh, ask other people in the office to bring over the stacks of transcripts that have been boxed. Forget it, don't read it. Let's do it like this. There's no better time. There's no other time. Zhang Fucheng waved his hand, motioning for him to put it down. A special way during a special period, just going to the printed out and post it. Then he left and uh, never sat down. Yeah, there's also special incomes during the special period, Zhang Shipang is straight up again. Squeezing his eyes to the headmaster's back. Counting the factor sponsorship, it'll be easier to distrib distribute. Party. What? The list comes up this early? We haven't the final exam yet. Z is looking around the crowd, gathering near the bulletin, smiling. While well, our score is nearly the same, we'll be in the same class again for sure. She is pulling her friend, of course. Ling Sleep trying to push him into the crowd. How are so many people stuck here? The two short girls can't see the list, even if they uh, if they stood tippy toed, so they can only stand aside. While Z is talking endlessly, L Ling is silent. Something was wrong. She grabbed her hands and speaks wordly. Why? The final exam was canceled. Told you I was working so hard. Even if I can't catch up with you, or surely we can be in the same class, right? You lead, I become underdog. We sew together. Tee hee hee. Just as they chat, the majority of the students have finished checking and pushing outwards. See that? Well, I'm doomed. For the fucking sake. Dude, wh which class are you in? What the heck? Sounds like calling, complaining, and stop and came out saw, alongside the students. Smiling on Z's face froze and stopped chatting. She stands there watching those students left with set faces or cursing. Loudly, the friends, the crowd just spaced slowly. Z, let's check it right now. Lily Ling thought maybe they can push in now. Perhaps she found Z is slightly numbed. She put her hand uh, walking towards the bulletin. Got to know anyway, so just check it. Z is struggling to smile. Actually makes her nervousness even more obvious. Ling grasped her hand. That, uh, that list on the bulletin board, which pasted above the other messy notices, is pretty neat. Seems very formal, however, due to the finger scratchings. That's written on it. What's written on it is somewhat cloudy. Z also checking line by line with her fingers. Her gaze meeting with Ling, and this separates. I saw mine, class 20. Ling whispers to Z. While she is still fighting Z, still fighting. Z replies loudly. Well, advanced class, so maybe I. Her voice stops, and Ling knows what just happened. And she hugged her, tears dripping down her hands. Report to the board. The board of directors is undoubtedly the one who cares most about CYSY. The time of year is also the time we report to the board of directors. So she's not good this year, and the board of directors has been working hard for the school for a long time. Reports may give them a satisfactory rest. Hope so. <coughs> with no stability here for school. Annual. 
As all hosts of the annual meeting took stage, the discussion is in the audience gradually disappeared. Everyone strained their excitement and put on a serious face to welcome the ceremony that they've been long accustomed to. A burst of pleasantries, a burst of courtesy, this year everyone seems to be impatient with them. After experiencing a series of appalling events such as the missile crisis, the teachers are exhausted both physically and mentally. Now they're in the same mood as those students. They are all grateful for the rest of their lives and are preparing to celebrate another spring festival with their families and the audience. Their discussions about trivial matters such as preparing tickets. And gradually the venue seemed to become noisy again, but soon the venue returned into silence. In order to command the hard work of all the teachers this year, well comprehensively consider your KPI index this year and distribute year-end bonuses to all teachers. Many people were excited. This is what they hoped for, but this happy look quickly turned into a disturbed, disturbed frown. Listen, bonus. And Master Zhang Fu Chang, who won the first rank bonus for outstanding teachers. Zhang Fu Chang also came to the stage silently and received the certificate with a big unfamiliar number on him. Much less than usual, maybe this missile crisis caused a financial slump. And Master Zhang Shipping of the high school, the first rank bonus for outstanding teachers. Why can't he? A burst of voices erupted in the venue, and discussions continued again. More than last year? Zhang Shipping was also walking onto the stage expressionlessly. Took the bonus that was more than half. More than that, Zhang Fu Chang glanced at the crowd and went off the stage silently. The venue slowly returned to calm again less than, in less than a minute. Excellent head teacher, teacher uh, Lu Chuang Hong, first rank bonus for excellent teachers. <coughs> but someone couldn't sit this still, still a sign. One of the teenagers jumped up, excitedly reprimanding something. Under the strong tug of others, he sat down again while looking at him with mocking eyes. Lu Chuang Hong walked up to the stage with a smile to take the bonus and turned to her seat under the angry gaze of others. Next, second rank teacher bonus. Those jaw-dropping numbers were read out loud one by one, and each number could stir up waves in the audience. Is this a stupid screwing beggar scent? The year-long hopes of the teacher seemed to have been completely dis extinguished by a basin of ice water, and the anger of most people could not be hidden. I seen that the venue was going out of control. I declare this year's annual meeting of teachers has come to a successful conclusion. Looking in the backs of those who suddenly left, Zhang Le Ping sighed with relief, while follows endless uneasiness. It seemed that the current situation is somewhat beyond his control. Both he and the headmaster were silent, but they both understood a message. The storm is coming. Make a year of hard work. We can finally rest, give, finally give ourselves a holiday. Facts have been proven, uh, that proved that our work this year has been very successful. Although once faced with the threat of the destruction of the world, we have survived and successfully carried out a series of reforms to achieve our stated goals. And we have never been more tenacious and powerful than we are now. Wish CYSY's development can go on smoothly forever. Yeah. <coughs> Routine. Uh, clutching a sack of documents, Zhang Fu Chang calmed down and gently pushed open the door to the boardroom. It was just like in the years past. In the past, whenever he came to report at the end of the year, the atmosphere oh, here always made him feel at ease. It seemed like nothing more than an opportunity to strengthen cooperation with the board of directors. But after all that had happened, this time Zhang Fu Chang's euphoria at reporting the results of the reforms was mixed with a lot of unease. He tried to contain his mixed feelings and walked calmly into the boardroom, but things did not seem to be going as smoothly as he had hoped. She, head Chief Master, or Chief Headmaster, you're finally here. Instead of the usual smile, Zhang Le Ping looked up at him solemnly from the pile of papers, which was the action of the others present, together with the successor, Zhang Yifeng. This is actually happens for a reason. Dereliction. Zhang Fu, Fu Chang did his best to stay calm. This actually happened for a reason. Because of the missile crisis and a series of other unforeseen events, school is having some financial difficulties at the moment. I hope the board decide can understand. <coughs> when we say it's a crisis, I think we all know what the real reason is, don't we? Zhang Yifang spoke up with the same impatience. If you really don't have the ability and idea, then don't do something nonsensical like this. You know how, man how many money-tucking opportunities you have caused us to lose this year? You yourself have an idea, right? Faced with Zhang Yifang's disrespectful words, Zhang Fu Chang glared at him, but due to the ping next to, him, next to him, he didn't make any extra remarks. Compared to you... To the you a few years ago, your levels dropped a bit now, huh? If you still intend to maintain a cooperative relationship, do what to do, I believe you clearly know in your heart. Also, don't try to meddle in everything. Give more room to your young people. They are more energetic and sharper doing things. You have to give them more opportunity to, to do so. Zhang Lepang said seriously, and Zhang Yifeng next to him and echoed his words. So here's a summary of this year's reform work. I'll give you a brief report now. There's no need for that. Just leave the document behind while I analyze the contents ourselves. You go ahead. Look at the two men with unhappy faces. Zhang Fu Cheng nodded with a heavy heart and walked out of the door. And the report is not like we don't know what kind of rubbish work is being done. Before walking away, Zhang Fu Cheng vaguely heard such a sentence. He bowed his head and didn't say anything. He knew that he had to think about something more serious than whatever the school's financial problems were. And during a moment, was calm. Upset. But we have more money, hopefully. Enjoy a winter holiday. <coughs> finally, it's a holiday. The first day of the winter vacation finally arrived. The mood of the students almost experienced a reversal of the polarities of the thin days. The lingering terror of the missile crisis hadn't quite dissipated, and even the news of the end of the crisis hadn't dispelled the shadows in the student's mind, but the news of the holidays did. The content of the conversations between the classmates no longer had that faintly revealed sense of despair, and the task of feeling had completely disappeared now. Everyone's eyes are full of hope, no matter what these students had experienced before. Now they had only one simple and simple wish, to have fun during the holidays and relax their heart changed completely. The desperation throughout the school has been dispelled, replaced by talk about holiday plans. Everything has to be back on track. Happy holidays. And we'll get this one done, too. Still getting more political power, no stability, no war support. I mean, it's a school. What do you expect? The letter. 
Zane Chang took out the envelope with impatience, but it seems like not related to those annoying chores. He opened it and skimmed its contents. It was written by a CSCYSY, old graduate, and was totally unexpected. Since he is concerned about students, he began to read with some interest. <coughs> Dear Headmaster, Happy New Year. I really want to thank you in those years I witnessed your contribution to the school. He kept reading with gratitude. Now opened some business, earned a bit of money, perhaps about. Zane Chang saw that number somewhat surprised. Why did a freshly graduated man have to have amount of income? Well, thank you. all thanks to you. Zhang Fucheng gazed outside, perhaps he wanted to say here even more. If his hard work would make more students like him, they would be grateful too. Not bad. His eyes returned to the paper and kept reading, but the next few lines altered his mind completely. Dear Headmaster, what do you know about your approximate wage? I always think you can go on another way. Since I earn this much, you should be even better. Well, money makes the world go round in the modern age, right? Zhang Fucheng closed the envelope, the student's words echoing in his mind. He recalled his devoted contribution these years, doing more things than any other guy, but still cannot surpass such a young one. All these years for what? Whether to say or leave, that's not a delayable question. Zhang Fucheng recovered from pressure and took the pen and paper and began to reply. You're right, but... Turbulent, huh? Well, that's not good. We are the, literally the lowest stage. At the banquet. A long way to uh, Lunar New Year is upon us again. So much has happened in the past few weeks that Zhang Fucheng has plans to relax and unwind to collect his thoughts and release emotions that have been piling up over the last few weeks. I've taken care of the only work left to receive another letter. It can't be work-related, can it? Zhang Fucheng sighed. But when he looked at the letter, Zhang Fucheng was a little surprised. The last time he saw his names was decades ago, but it still seemed so familiar, so familiar to Zhang Fucheng that he was still a little surprised. Of course I'll be there. Zhang Fucheng readily accepted the invitation and soon set off for the gathering place. When arrived at the party location, the familiar faces didn't seem to have changed much, and he was in a chance as if he had returned to his youthful student days. The only thing that changed was that they all changed from their youthfulness then to the maturity today. I did flew pleasantries and began to pour the wine as the sound of goblets of wine rose and fell. They talked more and more from their student days to each one's past flings after graduation as, they all, as if they had all lifted their respective burdens and had become talkative. Then I got hired by a big company in Guangdong as, as an executive. Every month I earn. I stayed in Japan after I graduated. It was more booming then. Went to Panasonic. Well, yen per month is just so. Zhang Fuching was not drunk. These few words from his schoolmate made him more, more sober, sober, and the hand that kept sending wine into his mouth stopped. The burden that had just been lifted from his, him suddenly returned to his shoulders. Zhang gave it to us how you're doing. Tell us about it. Zhang Fuching was so asked. His heart trembled, but he had to tell us about the current situation. Being a headmaster, it's not all bad. Just think you should be able to find a more lucrative job. Huh. Uh, Zhang Fuching no longer had the heart to drink. The next few minutes were spent in an almost mindless, perfunctory manner, as his original alcoholic spirits were swept away. When he got up to leave, he felt even relieved. Back in his room, his mood, which had been intended to, uh, to be a good relaxation, became heavier. The student had written to him earlier, as well as these students, seemed to set off these decades of his life as if he were a clown. I guess I won't be able to sleep again tonight. That's like me every night. I can't sleep. It's not a problem. I swear it's not. Especially when you go to work. Totally not. I can't go to sleep. Anyways. Uh, oh, the sound of the wind. In the past few months, the school's affairs have been affecting the revenue of this real estate company. Now, the school doesn't make any profits at all, and it's even become a burden and it's like blood for my real estate company. Dad, I tried my best. No, it's not your fault. That Zhang Fuchang seems to be unclear about what he's doing all day long, and their forms are getting worse. That's stupid. It just seems like it's a burden if I keep it. Not to mention anything else, as far as the mental crisis is concerned, he had it in a mess. I can't help but Dad, I discussed with Zhang Shipping recently. If we want to come up with a new plan, that dude will bring me more great resistance. I won't interfere with you. What do you want me to do? Just figure it out yourself. Just remove him from the management team. See what he's done recently is bucking our way. Be quiet, don't say those words too blatantly. Zane didn't leave until he could no longer hear the conversation. An unfortunate coincidence. There goes a guy of Australia. There's still one, though. Yeah. Happy March, everybody. We are only two minutes in, or two months in, basically. Uh, close to the half hour mark. But, Happy New Year. The, the decision. Zane Fusheng knew the time left for himself to make a decision was running out. Zhang had already started targeting himself openly and secretly, and he could no longer live peacefully as before. At present, there's only two ways to go. The first is to stay, with, win the battle with Zhang and his son, and stay in the school. The second is to leave him directly. He never thought about the third way, even if he had thought about it in the past, he would never think about it not now swallowing it. The soon letters and the scenes of the classmates have been engraved in his mind, as it's impossible for him to forgive, forget them anymore, and it's no longer meaningful for him to swallow his anger. So he discovered that the first way was simply impossible. Compared with Zhang Liping's power, it was too, too desperate. Trying to win against him was like a mayfly shrieking a big tree or hitting a stone with an egg. And Guangdong, where money's paramount, this is simply absurd in this way. There's only one way left, the humiliation of those days. And the last conversation he heard cut through his last hesitation. It picked up the paper and pen and wrote his resignation letter like flying. All he felt was a sense of weakness when it was done, followed by a moment of emptiness during this time. He tidied up his desk and put the letter of resignation in the middle. Picking up his luggage, he walked out of the school without looking back, not paying attention to the eyes of the people around him, although there was not many people in the experimental school at this time. For him, it was unbearable to stay here, even for one more second. Catastrophe, the cooperation between Zhang Fucheng and Zhang Liping was shattered. Well, that's not good. It's uncontrolled. Oh, now we have a little bit of debt. Where is he? 
Good morning, it's Headmaster Zeng here. Mr. Chang knocked on the door for a long time, so no one responded. So he had a, no choice but to push the door open and enter. The office was empty. He should be out for inspection, the teacher Chang thought to himself, putting the documents in his hand on the desk. A ray of morning sun sprinkled on the desk, and he painted the very neatly arranged items on the desk with his accented colors. Uh, the neat letter paper in the middle was particularly dazzling. Teacher Chang just wanted to leave, but he, he, he still couldn't help a glance at it. A glance at the content of the letter paper. It's a resignation letter. Hey, Headmaster Zeng, come and see what this is all is about. Oh, and that... Oh, please. Wait, what? So the desk reports a new order, but... Oh, maybe this is not done yet. Okay. Emergency personnel meeting and then job hopping. God, man. Trying to find a job sometimes, it can be impossible. So if you ever try to find a job, especially in a career, my God, it can be very difficult. Trust me. It can be so difficult. It took me years to get an actual job. And even then, I'm dying now. Anyways. Yeah, it's nothing to be cool, but I guess that's pretty much it. That's just, it's just a small little demo. About half an hour video. See what it's like. Um, stability is not good. It's a, oh, negative 20. That's not good. Oh, new alliances of Zhang and Zhang. Uh, this relationship is normal. Uh, Zhang for Chang's resignation symbolizes a complete collapse of the Zhang Zhang alliance. Which well, is the axis of power since the CYS had been founded. Another new Zhang Zhang alliance is hard to get rid of in this relationship, but now everything has happened. In this huge power vacuum, the partners have climbed to the position of desire. Zhang Yifang temporarily replaced his father. Uh, to represent the school company's financial affairs of the school, while Zhang Shiping took the position of the headmaster of the experimental school. However, this is only the first step of this new alliance journey, the Thousand Miles, and the conflict between offices. So, I guess there's just stuff that we got. That's a work in progress. So, hey, if you enjoyed this look at the demo of Tiano Words of Sword in English, please consider leaving a like. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. See you tomorrow, as well. See, do a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.